the history of concert touring for me going pre-mag deck. It was just years of frames and X braces. That was just the way it was done, right? And so you take a frame, you have another frame. Those two frames end up with an X brace that's going in between them, stabilizing it deck on top. When you had that system, it wasn't as intuitive and universal. There's limitations to the way that frames and X braces were built and deployed. You had to do it in a specific order. You always started upstage right and worked across to stage left. You always worked from upstage to downstage. If you're off ever so slightly, by the time you hit the end of a 60 foot run, you're off by a quarter of an inch. We used to give away Roger Rabbit hammers with like every single show. They'd pull out the big red hammer. Well, it's not perfect. And they'd start slamming on it again. I remember when you would go roll a stage at that point, legs would fall out sometimes and things would kind of drop off. And so that's kind of where, out of necessity, <laughs> we eventually got to Magdeck. Somewhere in 2003, actually, Adam Davis introduced for the first time Shania Taper, basically two by two block with a spring ball plunger in it that holds the leg in it. And this guy could be welded anywhere in the deck. We removed the frames. There's just the legs and the braces holding decks. The system actually completely changed the way we started building the stages. When you do the frames and stuff, you're really bound to the certain order how you build it. Not necessarily with this system. You basically have what's called starter deck. And this deck has to have a four legs on it. The adjacent deck when you're putting it up stage left, right, doesn't matter. will only have a two legs. And the key way will take the load. Because we introduced that, you can actually build the stages on a little chunks, what we call zones. Once the riggers are done, you just roll those chunks in a place and you basically lock them together into the system. You got your stage. You remove the X braces, you got even underworld. That was one of the most important improvements that completely changed the load in. And then eventually Adam Davis strikes again in 2007. It's a Bruce Springsteen show. And for the first time, we will introduce the mag system that is completely gonna change everything. This tipping point, which happened to, I guess, coalesce perfectly with Bruce Springsteen. There were three things that came together. The incremental improvement on magnets with walking with dinosaurs. There's nothing else on the planet that will give you perfect alignment without having something protrude. The structural experimentation we've been doing on the shows that we sold to U2 and sold to Rolling Stones and a switch in business model, those three things coalesced and we seized on the opportunity to very quickly try something new. If we can take a bunch of features and put it into one assembly, well, now I have one thing that can solve all these problems. And we were pretty successful at that. If you look at the corner block, every connection matters. The best design is the simplest design and simple could be measured by the fewest number of components. How do I save five seconds off of every connection? How do I save the time of how I'm packaging it, but also the space of how I'm packaging it? Without question, the mag system optimized that because all of this is happening in the corner. What's really important is that all the forces are basically perfectly in line. All you need is just throw the deck in it. The magnets will suck it in, keyway will align. It takes no time actually to floor a large area. It was amazing. It installs faster with less equipment. It weighs less for transportation and volumetrically takes up a smaller amount of space and still has a higher load capacity than any other, all the other staging systems. You look around the organization, they're everywhere. And it's just kind of part of our DNA and in ingrained in how we go problem solve things. What the audience sees when it's all set up, that's not the show. The show is the moment it starts coming off the truck and all of the sub-assemblies, and how many touch points do I have to put into that to create what the audience sees? Yeah.